I talked last week about getting up, dusting yourself off and starting all over again, getting back up on the horse after you fall on off it. And God knows we all fall off that horse of mindfulness, if I could call it that, many times during the course of the day. We have a legacy, 1.8 million years of legacy systems in our head that are wired in a way that are designed to ensure that uh, we aren't in the here and now, that we're mindless uh, and that we get through the day. And therefore it's inevitable that we fall off the horse. It is inevitable, therefore, that we have to pick ourselves up again and again and again. But, I hear you ask, what does that mean in practice? After all, consider this. If I were to ask you now, at this moment in time, where your mind had been for the last, say, 30 minutes, you may well answer the question, Honestly, first of all, by saying, well, I'm not really sure. Or secondly, even more honestly, it was nowhere related to where my body actually was and it was a million miles away from what I was actually supposed to be doing. Now, if my mind wanders, as it does, many miles away from where I am, if my mind goes off on a tangent to something that is totally unrelated to the here and now, how can I even be disciplined enough to realise that I've fallen off the horse? Never mind, get back up on it. And that is why, as I say, what does this actually mean in practice? What can you do today to ensure that you realise that you've fallen off the horse so that you can get back up on it? I would suggest to you, as I suggest to all my clients, that regularly, throughout the day. And I don't mean today, I mean every day. And I don't mean most days, I mean every day. That I actually stop myself and I ask myself, where am I? Am I here? Where's my mind? How do I feel? Is what I'm doing related to what I should be doing in relation to what I want to achieve? Out of now. No, no big deal in terms of out of life. Let's not, let's not go there. Is my mind focused on doing what I should be doing now to get what I want out of now? It's a simple enough question. The answer is often very amusing. But it actually doesn't really matter what the answer is because asking yourself the question isn't just realising that you've fallen off the horse. It is, in fact, getting back up on the horse. To quote Tony DeMello, some of you may know the work of Tony DeMello. Asking yourself where you are at this moment in time is not the first step on the road to self-awareness. It is the only step on the road to self-awareness because in doing so you become aware of where you are. And that is really all that matters. <laughs>